Hi there. Thanks for joining our presentation today. My name is Jennifer Meany and I am an admissions staff member at Asnantuck Community College and I am joined by my colleague who you'll hear from here momentarily. You have joined the session regarding early college programs at the Connecticut Community Colleges and in this session you will learn about the various early college programs for high school students in Connecticut. If you are a Massachusetts resident listening to this session, these programs unfortunately will not apply to you. This is only for Connecticut high school students. My colleague and I will share information about the various early college programs that take place at different high schools through throughout the state. It won't be available for all high schools in all Connecticut community colleges, depending on the program. So it's really important that you're mindful of which programs are going to be available to you. And we'll break that down a little bit throughout the session. Uh, we will talk about the different programs and then we'll talk about the benefits and then how you can get involved with each of the early college programs. So with that, I'll kick it over to my colleague Kalia to dive into uh, the different programs that we offer through early college uh, program experiences. Thank you. Uh, my name is Kalia Kellogg and I work in, at, in admissions at Northwestern Connecticut Community College. Um, and we just want to tell you a little bit about different programs, but the most important takeaway for you is that your high school college guidance, your school counselor, um, those are the, the resources that you should be connecting with to figure out which of these opportunities are offered through your high school. So whatever we share with you today, just remember your college guidance or school counseling office is the best resource for you to connect with to figure out which of these programs you may want to participate in. So what does early college program really mean? Uh, early college program is an indication that there is some sort of agreement between the high school and the college through which you can earn college credit while still attending high school. There are different types of programs and that's what we want to review for you. All of these programs are tuition free, but I caution you that some of them do require you to buy textbooks. And if you don't know yet, I hate to be the first one to tell you, textbooks can be very expensive. Sometimes they're $100 plus for one book. So we do want to just emphasize these are tuition free. Some of them are fully free, um, but you will need to buy textbooks for some of them. Um, they, are, they are offered through your local community college. We'll break down what that really means. Um, sometimes you're taking the class at your high school. Sometimes you're taking the class at your community college. Um, there are 12 community colleges throughout Connecticut. So as I'm telling you a little bit about this program, look at the map and see which ones um, are closest to where you live. They, these programs are called different titles. Sometimes they're called high school partnership, sometimes CCP, sometimes dual enrollment, sometimes early college. So again, the most important thing is to connect with your school counseling office to figure out which college your high school has agreements with and what programs they participate in. So the first early college experience we want to tell you about is the high school partnership program. This is arguably the program with the greatest level of immersion. So high school partnership program means that you take our courses that are taught by our professors. It used to be that meant that you were on our campus. It still means that to some degree, but of course, because of COVID, we offered a lot more online. But whether it's on our campus or through our online offering, you're going to be taking our college courses along with college students. That's a deep level of immersion. So you do have to place into the class. We do have to know that you're ready to take that class. So maybe we'll look at SAT scores. Maybe we'll just look at your GPA, or maybe we'll offer some placement testing. But again, it differs between colleges and it differs between program. But the high school partnership program is a wonderful way for you to audition a college. So if you're thinking about maybe coming to a community college after you graduate from high school, if you're taking one of these high school partnership programs, you can actually try out what it is like to be a college student on one of our campuses. So you can learn from our faculty. You can decide if this is a place where you feel welcome, if people are helpful, if you're inspired by our teachers. So this, these are our courses. You have to really commit. You're doing our curricular calendar. So 
you might have a vacation in high school, you still got to do your high school partnership college classes. So this is a deep commitment. It's a deep level of immersion. If you don't want to come to community college after graduating from high school, high school partnership still offers you a huge benefit. And that is that is it is arguably the most impressive program for the competitive admissions selective committees. So if you're going to a four year college and you know I want to aim high, I want to go to a competitive college. If they see that you're taking college courses on a college campus or with a college professor and you're doing well, those admissions committees at those four year colleges have to respect this is a person doing college work already. They're getting great grades. So this is a way for you to show those colleges that you're ready. So that's a little wrap up wrap up of a high school partnership program. Great, thanks. And uh, with with that, the second different early college program that we offer in addition to high school partnership is referred to as college career pathways or in other words, CCP or also referred to as dual enrollment. The way in which this early college program differs to high school partnership is that classes taken through CCP or dual enrollment it is that you are truly earning dual credit. You're earning credit towards your high school completion as well as college credit. Whereas high school partnership, you're earning that in an extension uh, of your high school, right? That's a class that you're taking outside of your school day. A course that you would take through CCP or dual enrollment is part of your school day. So you never even have to leave your high school to do that. You would be taking your math class, for instance, at high school that goes towards your high school completion while earning college credit for that math class, the equivalency of what your math class is to your local community college. So it's a really great opportunity with a little heavy lifting, right? Knowing that you're taking this as part of your school day. The other benefit of this is that it's free, just like all these early college programs that we're speaking to today. So uh, it's free to the student and family as well as to the high school. Uh, there's additional funding for some of these um, um, dual enrollment opportunities at various high schools throughout the state. Uh, the courses in which are offered through CCP or dual enrollment varies significantly across the community colleges. So it's really important that you speak to your school counselor to see what might be available to you. Um, it's my understanding that CCP or dual enrollment is offered at all of the 12 community colleges. So that's that's great. No matter where you are in the state, you should be able to take advantage of this program in some in some way. Um, but again, the different courses that would be available to you greatly differ because uh, the this is a really vetted process. In order for your class to be eligible for college credit, your high school class, again, let's use math as an example, for your math high school class to be eligible for college credit, your math instructor needs to be vetted by the community college. Your math instructor has to have the credentials that our community college math instructor does in order to be able to grant you college credit for that math class in high school. So it's a really articulated process to make sure that that math instructor has what they need to give you that college credit. And depending on the high school instructors will dictate what's available to you for for college credit opportunities for the different subject areas with that within your your high school. Um, we have high schools that offer business classes for college credit, math, English. Um, a lot of them are very career focused. So early childhood, uh, criminal justice, just to name some examples. So uh, again, check with your high school counselor to see what's available to you. And just like high school partnership, there is uh, a, often an extra step in order to uh, qualify to earn that college credit in your in your high school course, you might need to provide test scores or show your GPA. We might look at your cumulative GPA to see if you um, uh, are eligible to earn the, the credit because we're basically looking for college aptitude. Is this student demonstrating that they could be successful in this college level math class? So um, again, something that you wanna check with your counselor about about because this is on a requirement for all of the CCP or dual enrollment classes. In addition to high school partnership and CCP, another early college program that's available at some of the Connecticut community colleges is College Connections. College Connections is an opportunity for students to navigate some manufacturing classes. 
and just like CCP or dual enrollment, these are classes that you would take during your high school day. The students at the high school would be bused to the community college that's offering college connections, and you would take one or two uh, manufacturing classes that would count toward a manufacturing certificate or credential at that community college, as well as count towards your high school completion. So again, it's a win win there, just like the CCP dual enrollment opportunity. The college connection courses that are available to students at some of these community colleges uh, vary in terms of subject area. Uh, for instance, you could take classes in machining or welding or robotics, um, electronics and controls. It, Again, like all of our early, co early college programs, it just really depends on what is articulated between your high school and your local community college. So really uh, talk to your school counselor about that. Uh, the, you'll see on the slide here that the College Connections program is offered currently at three different community colleges in the state as Nantuck up in Enfield, Housatonic in Bridgeport, and Naugatuck Valley Community College in Naugatuck. An additional manufacturing early college program that's offered in Connecticut is through the Youth Manufacturing Program Initiative, the, the YMPI. Uh, it's it started uh, at Three Rivers, but it's also offered through Quinnebog Valley Community College. Uh, the YMPI um, program is part of the Eastern Manufacturing Program Initiative. So this is a program that's only offered in the eastern part of the state. So uh, this is articulated with Eastern uh, high schools. So if your local community college is Three Rivers or Quinnebog, this could be something um, to look into if you're seeking a hands on program. The YMPI offers four college credits that go toward a man manufacturing certificate at Three Rivers and Quinnebog, but also goes toward a uh, apprenticeship program uh, where you can earn a manufacturing credential to specifically help fill the need at some manufacturing firms in the state electric boat being one of them, um, for example. So this is a really in demand field, folks. So if a hands on program is something that interests you, I really encourage you to look into College Connections or the YMPI uh, opportunity. Um, there is a huge void uh, in the state that needs to be filled because there's a lot of folks retiring at, at places like Electric Boat and Pratt and Whitney, for example. So uh, great opportunity to take advantage of. If you want to learn a little bit more specifically about the YMPI uh, program, I encourage you to reach out to Erin Sullivan. Her contact information is, is there on the slide for you and uh, something to, to look uh, deeper into. Again, if a hands-on program is something that appeals to you. In addition to manufacturing curriculum that you could take advantage of through the early college programs in the state, there is a wide variety of other classes that you can do. Uh, as Kalia mentioned with high school partnership program, um, knowing that this is an extension of your of your high school uh, day, you're, you're not binded to what could be offered through through your high school. The sky's the limit for what could be available to you through high school partnerships. So um, you could really check off a lot of general education requirements. You know, maybe you don't know what you want to do after high school. So we encourage you to maybe look at some general education courses that we know would be applicable to any degree program so that you're not wasting time um, doing some navigating or maybe you're teetering between. I don't know if I want to pursue criminal justice or business. So you could take an intro class in either one of those through early college uh, through an early college program um, and, and, and navigate that and see if that's something you want to focus on. But we've listed some other examples here that are really popular options for students, knowing that these are very transfer friendly areas of study um, that again can be applicable to a lot of different areas. The liberal arts curriculum, for instance, many programs, uh, degree programs require at least two often liberal arts electives or liberal arts options. So looking at things like sociology, public speaking, psychology. Um, but again, we do offer some more career focused things like accounting and business and um, manufacturing and um, early childhood. So uh, hopefully knowing we'd like to think there's a little bit for everyone here. So hopefully some of this stands out to you and, and would be of interest to explore. So now that we've talked a little bit about the different early college programs that are available to you uh, and the different classes you could take advantage of, how how do you sign up? What are the requirements to get involved? Kali is going to share that now. Thanks. Um, so again, requirements differ. You want to talk with your school counseling staff your, or, or your college guidance staff. 
uh, to really figure out these particular programs and requirements. But some of the things to keep in mind that are somewhat consistent, um, it's an online application. We want to just encourage you to recognize that once you do that online application, you are doing an application, creating an application account for all the community colleges in the state. That does not mean you've applied to them all, but we want to impress upon you the importance of recognizing mom and dad should not be filling this out for you. This is going to be your application account. No matter which community college you apply to in the future, we all share this application platform. So you're creating an account that is going to be used at, at Nantuck, at Quinnebog Valley, at Norwalk Community College, at Northwestern Community College. So make sure you remember your login and you remember your password. So important. And it is an online application. If I could plead one thing, it is this. Please read your email. Again, should not be mom and dad's email because when you graduate from high school, if you apply to any of the colleges, all of the outreach is going to go back to your mom and dad's email. So use your email and check your email. We know that colleges fill your inboxes. <laughs> Um, but at some point, you have to just start uh, reading your emails from the colleges as part of this process. You really have to, to weed through those. It's the only way we can reach out to applicants to say, hey, we tried to process your application, but we're missing this piece. Or here's your testing date. Or here's where you sign up for classes. If you don't read the emails, you're not going to finish the process. If you don't finish the process, you might be missing out on college credit that you're a already doing the work for like the dual enrollment or ccp or b uh, is just free to you and, and an opportunity for you to really advance in your college experience um, sometimes we use different placement uh, information so some colleges may require you to give sat scores a lot of us just ask for your self-reported gpa uh, your counselors may need to be writing letters of recommendation. So again, it's specific to the program and the school. With high school partnership, we do want you to be doing B work at least in your high school, because if you're going to fight off that other opportunity by taking additional courses at a college, we, we want you to already have a strong foundation in high school and be doing well. You do have to generate an email to your parents and to your school official to sign off on most of these programs. So if you follow the application directions all the way through, you'll be set. But we do need to hear from your parents or guardians. We do need to hear from your counselors or teachers to say they approve of your participation in these programs. For CCP dual enrollment, guess what? We're going to do the work for you. All you have to do is apply, but we are trying to give you credit for courses you're already taking in high school. So uh, the way that CCP dual enrollment works, we look at what your high school teachers are teaching in their courses. We make sure that it's aligned with the same curriculum that we would teach at the community college. And that's why we're able to offer you credit, college credit for a course you're already taking. It breaks my heart when I see students show up in the fall who graduated from high school and they're like, I shouldn't have to take Math 094. I did that in high school. I was in a dual enrollment uh, class. They didn't do the application. They didn't get the college credit. They don't get to skip that semester and go into Math 137. Those are just examples from Northwestern. They might not align with the numbers at your school. But that's just an example of we want to make sure if you're in one of those courses, you're doing the work anyway. We just want to make sure you get the credit for that. So we're going to talk about benefits in just a moment. Um, in terms of College Connection, again, it's a program where we have to make sure that your parents or guardians know you're participating and your school counselors know you're participating. So make sure to do the full application process. And we, we have uh, instructions given to your high school counseling offices. So what are some of the benefits? Why would you do this? Well, if you start accumulating college credit early, you can start college at a higher curricular level. You can get through college faster. You amass, you amass less financial debt in a big way. And that can have such a huge um, benefit to you 
moving forward into your professional life, not having to pay off four years of college debt. Maybe you can trim it by a semester. Um, that is a huge financial advantage. We talked before, if you're interested in coming to a community college, this gives you a chance to try out the community college. See if it's a place that would feel like home after you graduate from high school. Even if you're not interested in coming to the community college, it is such a statement to those selective admissions committees that are plowing through all these different applications looking for something that stands out. For students who are already taking college level courses and doing well, that makes a statement to those selective admissions committees. So that's a huge piece. The tuition is free in these programs. Again, making um, such a, giving you such an advantage financially. Students who succeed in these have a greater um, confidence when they transition to college. They know they've done their work. They might have met some of our faculty. Maybe they now know the campus if they're not taking all online courses. So it's a wonderful transition. So there's so many benefits in the different programs for so many different students, even students who don't want to come to college. I met a student once who said, I'm not going to go to college after high school, but he wanted to take high school partnership because his family had a business and he was going to join the family business and he wanted to take some accounting courses or some math courses. So we were able to make that work for him. So there really are reasons for you to consider this um, and tremendous benefits for you. Great, thanks Kalia. So uh, we honestly could probably fill many PowerPoint slides with the benefits of taking advantage of an early college program. So um, we hope you liked what you heard today in terms of the opportunities that could be available to you uh, and the tremendous benefits that are right at your fingertips through these programs. Uh, I know it was a lot of information um, given to you in, in, in a short period of time. So Kali and I encourage you to, to reach out to us at any time if we can um, expand upon some of the things that we've covered today or your school counselors are great resources as well. As Kalia said, uh, and as we emphasize throughout the session today, a lot of these programs vary depending on your local community college and offerings. So connecting with your school counselor is the best resource to get the most up-to-date information of what's available to you through these different programs. Uh, but again, Kalia and I could be great resources for you as well. Um, we're well connected with all the other community colleges. So if we don't know the answer, we can help you get connected to someone who we know will. Um, Again, we hope that you learned a lot today and uh, are able to maybe take advantage of the early college program uh, opportunities in the future, and perhaps we'll see you on our campuses soon. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Take care.